Hello everyone. This is Rosalind from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today we will understand the basic Informatica process from the command line in Unix server. Here is the agenda for today's session. Today we will understand the basic Informatica process and how to identify them what is the need to find out the PID of different Informatica process, how to find these PIDs and demo for the same. These are the basic Informatica process which can be identified as mentioned below. The first one is Node Java process and Admin Console process. We will check the these two process in the demo regarding how to identify this process in Unix. Repository service will be denoted as PM represent. Integration service will be denoted as PM server and any other power center session will be denoted as PM DTM process. Before getting into how to find out one PID of any process, we need to know what is the need of getting so? Every process will have its own process ID. If we can identify the same, then it will be easier for us to troubleshoot any issue related to the same process. Even if you have multiple services, that is if you have multiple repository service or multiple integration service running in your domain, then you need to understand which PID is for which service so that you can check according to your requirement. If needed, you can collect more logs or traces on the same PID. These are the steps to find out PID of any process. You can log into Informatica server as an info user. Then you can run ps-ef command to check what are the processes running in the server. You can filter the search by using ps-ef grep user so that it will give all the processes which is running under Informatica. So for IS, as we have told earlier, it used to get identified with PM server so to find out the IS you can grep with PM server similarly to find out the repository service you can grep with PM represent let's check for the demo I have logged in to my Informatica server as we told earlier we need to run PS command to check the processes So I am running ps-ef grep. I am doing it with uh, my user which is running the Informatica so that I will just see the processes which are running under Informatica. Here we can see multiple processes as I have multiple repository and multiple integration services running in my server. So initially we need to understand which is the node java process and which is the admin console process when you start up informatica two java processes will be running one will be the node java process which is the primary informatica process the other one is admin console process through which we access the admin console so if we will check the processes here we can see one process this one with parent process id as one because this is the parent process and this is the process id this is the process id this is the parent process id and this is the pr whole process so when you are seeing isp tomcat bootstrap it means it is the node java process for the node java process the parent process id will be one and it will have some process id and all other processes will have this as the parent process id so as i have told that there will be two java process one is the node java process which can be identified from this isp tomcat bootstrap 
if this process you can see in your command line it means your domain your node is up now to check further if your admin console is up or not you can check for you can check for infra tomcat bootstrap and here also if you will search you can find admin console process this particular process here as I have told you can see this is the parent process ID which was the PID for the node so after that whatever process will generate as a child process of node process that will be the parent process ID so for our admin console process this is the parent process ID which is the process ID of the node Java process and this is the process ID of the admin console process it might seem little confusing so what we can do is scrape it one by one so here I can add another filter with grip admin console so it will show just one process this is the one sorry this is the one here this is the parent process ID this is the process ID here you can see the infra tomcat bootstrap and here you can see the admin console so from this we can identify if the admin console process is up or not and also we can identify as I told earlier if your node process is up or not your node process as I told you can search for parent process ID as one parent process ID as one and in the process you can see ISP Tomcat bootstrap now we will try to find out few repository service and integration service as I told earlier I have multiple repository service and integration service in my domain so if you check here you can find one process with PM represent this is one of my repository service this is also another repository service this is also another repository service similarly I have multiple repository service and here if you can see this is PM server this is integration service these are various repository service in my domain okay now as we can understand the integration service repository service node java process and admin console process from this we can find out we can try to find out how to identify the process name if you have multiple processes suppose your IS you have multiple ISS or you, as I have just shown I have multiple repository services then from this command line as you can see everything shows as PM represent PM represent then how will you understand which PID is for which particular repository service or which particular integration service so for that we have a command to check so let's filter out one or two repository service so out of many I just filtered for two repository services let's go for the first one when we are seeing the first process here this from here we can confirm this is the P process for the repository service now to identify the name we need to check this this is or rs name corresponds to the second encoded string in this particular output so we can basically decode the service name from this particular string so in this case these are the two strings let's check how to decode this we can run echo 
give the string and crypto this sixty four decode. See, you can see the name over here RS test. Let's check this one also and then we will confirm the same from the admin console as well. This one is this. So what we can do is like as per this command line these out of many repository service these are the two repository service that we have filtered and as per this output these two has to up so let's check the same from the admin console as well the repository services were rs test and repository ending with 771 i have logged into my admin console as we have checked over there one repository was rs test so you can see I have one repository called arist underscore test and which is available. The other one was aris which was ending with 771 and that is also available. So from here we can see that even if I have these many repository services but from the command line also I can identify the process ID and the name of the repository service. Similarly, we can check for few integration service as well. So like here also, I will filter for PM server and fetch just two output. These are the two PM server and PM server. And this is the first string. This is the second encoded string. So let's find out and try to decode this. This is IS new and for the second one we will check. This is IS 961. Let's check the same from the admin console as well. Here, this is my integration service IS 961, which is available, and IS new is also available. So, this is how we can identify the process name and its PID from the respective process. To access our knowledge base items, you can log in to search.informatica.com. You can also log in to docs.informatica.com to access the command reference guide. We would love to hear from you. You can write your feedback in support videos at the red informatica.com. You can also write to us in twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.